Hey guys, Caleb Thornton here back with another video. And today we're gonna be doing another paracord installation today on the Model D Minus. So if you guys are wanting to do it already on all the ice, you can follow along with me. Or if you just wanna know an idea of how the process is gonna be, how difficult or how easy it's gonna be, um, this video will probably be helpful for you. And I'll also include a before and after with the stock cable versus the paracord if you guys wanna have a good idea of the difference between those two. But let's actually hop into the installation of it now. All right guys, right where we start with every mouse for the paracord, we're gonna pop these skates off on the bottom and they do not include any extra skates in the box. So if you are gonna start on this process, I would recommend either picking up, you know, some extra aftermarket skates, or I believe you can get some more G skates from Glorious themselves. They do include these two bigger skates in the box, so they obviously will fill in these gaps here, but that's obviously not gonna replace your corner skates, which you really do need. You can try to be really careful while you're taking them off if you wanna try to reuse them. I am gonna be using a hair dryer today to pop them off. I'm just gonna be heating them up to loosen up the adhesive and pop them off. You don't have to do that. You can just get under an edge and lift them off. The only issue I find with that is that it leaves a lot of adhesive behind below it and it can be annoying to get off later. So for me, I'm just gonna use the hair dryer, let the adhesive heat up and then take it off with a little screwdriver like this under the edge just to get it loosened up and then that will just eliminate having a ton of adhesive left behind and make it a little bit cleaner process. And if they are really good after doing it, you can reuse them. I might reuse them, I might just put some other ones on, I'm not sure yet, but let's go ahead and pop these off. All right guys, so we just popped that first foot off right there. I just heated it up, popped it off with the screwdriver, and as you can see, there's basically no adhesive left behind, which is really nice for later when you're trying to adhere new skates, or even if you just wanna replace the old ones and put them, reuse them, I mean, and put them back on. But right under here, you'll see your screws exposed, and so now we're gonna pop these other ones off, and we'll have all the screws exposed so we can open up the shell itself. Alrighty guys, as you can see, I did pull all the skates off and there is only screws under the back too. I was just already taking them off, so I figured I might as well pop them off just to see what's under it. Um, but there is none of the front too, so you don't have to take them off when you're popping it off. I'm guessing that these two are the only one that's holding it down then. There maybe is just some clips up here, so we'll pop these screws out and see for sure. Alrighty guys, so we popped on um, those back two screws out. Now we're just gonna try separating the shell here and you always wanna be careful separating because you never know if there's gonna be like an RGB rib or anything, but we'll just kind of carefully separate. It does look like, okay. Yeah, there's a couple clips in the front here. That's why they don't have screws up there. So that holds the front part of the shell. Then you just have these back two screws that are actually holding it to the top. And there is a cable connecting from the top to the bottom right there, as well as some ribbons. So we'll wanna um, carefully take those apart so as not to ruin them. Although it doesn't look like you would even have to take those apart. You can just pop the cable out without doing that. So I might do that as well. Um, just be really careful that you don't tear those because obviously things won't be functioning properly if you do. So I'm just gonna leave the shell on so as not to have to do extra work basically. Um, because it, But if you do want to, you can pop these out, this other cable, this other ribbon back here, as well as the cable that's connecting the top shell. Um, for me personally, I'm fine with just setting it off to the side. I'm not too worried about it. Um, obviously, just be careful that you're not messing anything up internally wise because um, it won't work afterwards. But what I'm gonna do right now is take off this cable right here. This is your main cable for your power um, routing out at the front of the um, mouse, of course. I'm just gonna separate this right here. You have two little clips on the back which you can separate pretty easily. Then once that's the connections itself popped out, we're just gonna pop it out, pop the 3D um, there, um, stress relief out, and then we can install our paracord. All right, so you guys can see all I did was disconnect it from right here where it's connected. Um, once it's out, it's as simple as just literally pulling it right out of the track it's sitting in, and then you can pop it out of the front as well. All right, so I just popped it out from right there next to the scroll wheel. It it is very tight against the scroll right here, so that might cause some issues when trying to put the other paracord in, um, but we'll see for sure. So um, all you have to do is literally just pry a little force on it and it'll pop right out of that front part right there. Okay, we're gonna be using today, guys, is a paracord from Paracord Mouse. This is my first time using one of their paracords, but already it feels really nice in hand. We'll obviously um, get a better idea when we're doing it during the cable test, and then I'll probably have a video coming up soon maybe comparing Paracord Mouse to Lethal Gaming Gear, as I feel like those are probably two of the more widely recognized paracord companies in the game right now and um, they also do offer 3d printed stress release which does make for an easier installation um, way easier than actually having to like shrink wrap it or have flames right next to your mouse which can be dangerous so um, of course having 3d printed stress relief is going to make it a lot easier on us when we're putting this back in the model d minus and if you guys want to check them out i'll have them linked in the description down below they do sell more things than just paracords but obviously paracords is one of the things they're known for so definitely give them a look i guess so we're going to go ahead and pop this in here now again this is a 3d printed stress relief so it's going to make it a lot easier for us it does sit super close 
close to the scroll wheel, so you kind of have to just finagle it in there a little bit. Um, but once you get it past it, it should pop in there pretty simply. It just kind of fits down in there snugly, which is nice, because you don't have to worry about it popping out. And then you can go ahead and give your um, scroll wheel a spin too to make sure it's actually working properly, which mine is not hitting on at all, and it is just fine. Of course, with these loose wires, you're gonna wanna try to route them down as best as you can, because you don't want them popping up in the shell at all or getting in the way of your switches or anything like that afterwards. But just go ahead and route it around and then plug this back in the right way. Um, you can tell if it's the right way because the side of it that has those lines on it where it clips back into the connection itself will be on the side facing towards that in the side with it open and you can see the metal exposed will be on the pins right there. All right, as you can see now, I have it seated back in there and these loose wires are the things that will sometimes give me the most issues and sometimes the best thing to go and do with it is just tape it down to the bottom of the shell and have to worry about it popping up. But I think these ones will be fine. You just wanna kind of hold them down and make sure they don't get in the way when you're trying to put your top shell back on. The one thing we're gonna to wanna to focus on putting the top shell back on is making sure we get these front clips back into the front of the shell. And then after that, it's gonna be as simple as just popping those back screws in underneath. All right, so as you guys can see, we have a seamless connection now. There's no gap here, and that's a good way to know that if you have a good um, clip back together, good. Um, as you can see, there is no gap here. And with that 3D um, printed stress relief, it does look very nice and flawless in there. And it's all sealed all the way around, so all we need to do now is just do a quick check on our clicks, and there's nothing in the way of those. Those feel fine, as well as the scroll wheel, so that's how you know everything is good to go in there. And it's gonna be as simple as just popping these back screws in now, and then we'll be good to go. So we pop those screws back in and that is as simple as it is, a very easy mouse to paracord overall. I mean, literally only two screws. You don't even have to take those front skates off if you don't want, but now you can just go ahead as simple as just putting your aftermarket skates back on or if you got more G skates, whatever you might have, and then you're just good to go. And obviously making sure your clicks and everything works before you actually go through the process of, saying, process of putting those skates back on because you don't have to take them back off again. But I'll go ahead and give you guys a before and after of the paracord versus the stock cable now.